Hello ham friends and oh my members. This is Rick in for BM in a resort located in Punta Cana, Dominican Republic. I'm taking a few shots of our resort where we're staying. In addition to that, we had a very difficult time trying to figure out how we were going to talk back to our friends in the state. So I have elected to use a means of remote that 80% of us have all the equipment and the know-how. We may not know exactly what's needed to do the job. So part of this film and presentation is to show you the beautiful resort we were staying at, but also give you some clues on how to have fun at a nice re resort and talk back home with friends that you've talked to for many years as if you were still uh, at your uh, shack right in front of it. Here's my wife, Pat. She does not have a call sign, but she's very supportive of uh, me bringing my radio, whichever mode I decide to go with. Now this is a familiar face. Pete, KP2NP. And Pete and I and our wives are here in Punta Cana, Dominican Republic. And we're just having all sorts of fun. And later on we'll talk a little bit more about the remote operation. But I know you fellows back there don't care anything about remoting when you're on vacation. Pete, what did you think about that remote operation that I did the other day? I'm going to get involved on the first. First thing I get is remote operation. You heard it. You heard it from the man, Pete. Here are our accommodations uh, at our resort. We're on the third floor. And if I had taken a radio that required a hookup with the antenna, then this would be a very good location, good site. And I could probably do most things from here with an antenna up at least about 30, 40 feet. But that's the beauty of operating remote. It's not needed. So I could sit out here with my radio hooked up to an antenna. But that's not what I do and have not done that over the past six, seven months. Let me take you inside and show you the accommodations and actually show you the shack. These are the room accommodations. And let me show you my shack. There it is. It's a laptop. I bought a couple of these speakers here to show you. Because sometimes the volume out of the laptop isn't loud enough for me. Uh, you just plug them in at this USB port, they automatically come on, and now I've got a big volume that I can hear anywhere uh, in our room. Shortly, I'll begin. I have a skit with Moody, WQ6I, and um, I have a skit at 6 o'clock, actually I'm sorry, eight o'clock, five o'clock his time, eight o'clock our time.
So uh, that is the shack. That's all I need to access my remote via the internet. I can use a mouse if I choose to, to move the cursor on the laptop. Or I can use this pad here. It does the same thing. So I carry a few extra accessories uh, with me. The other thing I want to show you here is my microphone. This microphone is actually a microphone and a web camera all in one. This portion here is the camera. This portion right here is the microphone. Now, the distance when I'm sitting here at the desk is a little bit too far for good quality pickup from the microphone, although it will be heard very easily. What I typically do is take the microphone, put it down, and this one will fit handsomely right there. And I normally leave it in that position while I'm at the mic. So that works out really well. If you, most any microphone will do. However, the better the microphone, the better the quality of your remote is going to be. So that's all I need. Got a pair of external speakers. I have a, a mouse. I have my camera and microphone. And I have an internet connection. And away we go. Internet remote. Okay. Well, let me just show you just how easy it is to connect back to my base station in Kennesaw, Georgia, using my laptop as a remote. Okay, as you can see, I have uh, Microsoft Internet Explorer on the screen. I'm gonna now switch to my login uh, website, which is Log Me In. And it, there it is right there. And now I will access Log Me In. As soon as this screen comes up, uh, I will put in my password and any other information that's needed to get to the website. Cut. Okay. Here's a shot of the Log Me In uh, welcome screen. Over here on your right, you put in uh, your email uh, address, your passcode, which is already uh, programmed in the site. Uh, my password is already coded, but no one knows it but me. And now I click on the icon, log me in. And it now says that I have one computer online. That is the name, Office Radio 1. That is my name for my computer uh, in Kennesaw, Georgia, right next to my computer. I will now click this icon, and it should log me into my computer that's in Kennesaw, Georgia. Just takes a few minutes for that to occur. And we should be accessing our computer here very, very shortly. There we go. Now, this screen comes up and it gives you a security code. Therefore, no one but you can access your computer. I will type in my security code. And proceed from there by hitting the log on icon. And there we go. 
I have connected to my computer. I will ask to go to the remote control part of the program. It will uh, validate that I am who I am before entering. And it now says my connection was lost. So there is a problem at the computer now at my home station. 